Ah, intern, good morning. It has been far too long since I've seen you, but I hope you enjoyed your holiday break. I have good news. I know you were so excited about the new horses that we've added to the zoo, and thankfully they're doing wonderfully. Look at their little area. We've added some trees and some beautiful flowers. Look at these dandelions. Forget-me-nots, or daffodils even. Oh my gosh, what am I doing calling those dandelions? But yes, we've added little fences and little, look at these beautiful lanterns. These lanterns are here uh, to remind everyone that these are Asian horses, the last wild horse in the world. And at your request, intern, we have named the other two. Oh, look at him bond. The male is now named Bear. Oh yeah, is that so? Is that so? Oh, they're handsome and beautiful and I love them. <sighs> My goodness, I just love these guys so much. Let's see, and then I wanna make sure. Oh, that's right, we have to get a soda for our boss, whatever boss. Okay, we'll work on this. I mean, just look at them. Utterly gorgeous animals. And they are, seem very, very social. They've interacted with each other quite a bit. So we have named the, mare, the male Bear, and we have named the other female Meadow. See, look at them. <laughs> look at them just bond, and oh, this is, this is absolutely wonderful. I'm quite happy with how they're getting along makes me happy all right let's scooch out of here but yes there's quite a bit more room for them there's the pansies too and hopefully we'll have more guests trickling out this way so far no luck but that's okay and that's okay in turn because today we have a really big project in fact it's these guys see them they're actually a couple rescues a couple rescues and they're going to go where we had our pandas today the panda exhibit is getting its makeover and i bet you have been just hungering to know what goes in here well it is actually another inhabitant of asia a descendant of the asian area and these are actually orangutans this is princess and this is jojo and these are two emergency rescue orangutans that have been on our list for quite a while we just could no longer put off uh, housing them somewhere so now today we are going to turn the old panda exhibit into an orangutan paradise so that these little guys who have been through so much will have the opportunity just to breathe and relax and unwind and have all the space that they can be in so that's what we're going to do first off and they are from Southeast Asia. Orangutans actually share 80 or 97, excuse me, percent of the same genetic information as you and I in turn. It is believed among some cultures that they actually were worthy of being called uh, forest humans, like humans of the forest, humans of the trees. So what we're gonna do is try to accommodate them as much as possible. I think we are going to take out a bunch of the bamboo just for now. Eventually we will have pandas again, but that might be a little while, since unfortunately the pandas are very expensive. Very expensive indeed, and it's always, oh, you wouldn't believe the political headache to get our hands on them. Uh, we'll leave in some of it though. We'll just take out the scrawnier stuff. Orangutans spend most of their life up in the trees, so what we wanna try to do is facilitate plenty and plenty of trees, and we'll take out these cherry blossom trees. Just for now, those little maples that we had in there. Good, and what, what is our diet here? We've got a lot of branches, a little bit of meat as well, but also tons and tons of fruit. Oh, and then the high elevated feeders, that would probably make them much more comfortable because the elevated feeders reflect how orangutans primarily eat up in the trees. They get the majority of their food and water leaves entirely from the trees. If there's not enough water just kind of uh, in the fruit that they're eating, then they will chew leaves to get the water out of the leaves. So we should probably give them a few elevated feeders. Let's put some research into a couple of them. And let's look at what they need to sleep on. Oh, they have a little sleeping blanket they could wrap up in. Let's see, anything that's elevated. The wooden platform. Well, oh, look at that, the hollow tree shelter, interesting. Well, let's put some research into the wooden platform and the sleep blanket. What's this? And then this is another, we already have the raised sleeping platform. Is this a different kind? We'll have to, we'll just check that out in a little bit. And then what do they need? <gasps> Look at that, the monkey bars. Oh, there's tons and tons of stuff we can give them as far as enrichment goes. The chameleon tree. Okay, so we'll give them lots and lots of enrichment. But yes, orangutans primarily spend their time up in the trees. Uh, the majority of their life actually. Hopping around up there. We're gonna take out this old thing right here. Do you guys wanna play with these balls? It doesn't look like they'll play with the big pursuit balls, so we'll take that out, but they'll play with the little ones, so we'll leave those in. 
As highly intelligent species, we want to make sure that we give them as much enrichment as possible, too. They're, they're not a species that you want to pretend uh, is anything other than as intelligent as you really know they are. So we're going to make sure that they've got plenty to keep them busy. Oh, ho, 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 ho. now look at this intern! See, leave me alone with trees for a few seconds and we turn this place into a wonderful paradise. Oh, I love it! So that's pretty good on our trees. Like I said, it's very important for these guys to have lots and lots of trees. In fact, I might add a few more of the K-Pok, the big guys. And look at these guys! Aren't they just absolutely fantastic? And goodness, what is going on in Godzilla's territory? I swear, that poor little one is always fussing about having dirty exhibits. So we're gonna have to check it out in a second. But yeah, let's add a few more K-Pok trees. Uh, cause I think that they're gonna be very important just to make the area feel nice and dense. There we go. It's much better, much better. Now let's pop down, see how it looks. Looking good, looking good. The raised platforms and the sleeping basket actually have been researched. So let's see what we can do to get those guys in here. Let's see. All right, here's our sleeping basket. <gasps> Look at it, the sleeping basket. We'll put one right over there. We can hide one like pretty close because they, they like to stick with one another. One right there. Let's see, raised wooden platform. I think that they would probably like it over here. We'll have to see if there's enough room left for the monkey bars. Yeah, we can make some room for the monkey bars. I think we might make room by one of the like visitor areas. Possibly this one. Right there. And we'll see if they can get up and play in it. Because I think people would absolutely love to see that. I know I would. Alright, so what are some of our other enrichment toys? We're going to add figs absolutely everywhere. Figs are a really big part of the diet. Actually, orangutans especially tend to eat over 400 different fruits and vegetables. Thankfully, their jungle territory gives them that variety of uh, species and subspecies. We'll throw in some bones for some marrow, just like a lucky find. Let's see. Apples we can throw in. Let's throw a couple ice blocks with apples and see if they can get them in the water. That might be a really playful, really good thing for them. Through the monkey bridge. Look at that! Little monkey bridge! Oh my gosh! That's so cute! I would love to add that in here for them. Alright, let's just put that right in there and see see if that ever does anything. Is this another- Wow! It's a huge monkey bridge! Well, that would definitely let them climb among the trees, but it might be too big for, for the area we have, so we'll just put a littler one right over here. This is fantastic! You know, I was a little dubious about orangutans in the beginning. Uh, just because- and let's add in their food. Lots and lots of food and fruit that we'll just kind of scatter around. Just because I wasn't exactly sure how to handle the big monkeys. It's no secret that I'm not a big fan- and these aren't monkeys, by the way. Uh, but it's no secret I'm not a huge fan of the, these kind of animals, but you know, they're very intelligent and I want to reach out to them and they're, they need help right now, so we're gonna reach out, do what we can. Alright, that should be good. Got plenty of branches, let's give them some fruit. Like, we're scattering it around here and there to try to kind of mimic if they were in the wild and they found these things in the wild, like where they would find them. Ooh, let's put that basket fern on top of the... and let's put it in this tree right here. Gotta love those basket ferns. Absolutely love them. Alright, and then there's little flowers. Hmm, let's see. Little branches. Little teensy plants, and java moss, and java ferns. Ooh, look at those ferns! Add in some nice, bright, rich ferns. Really attractive plants, if you ask me. But this this is all part of their enrichment and their stimulation. I know sometimes you roll your eyes at me with all the different different plants I add in in turn, but really think about it from the animal's point of view. It may just be a plant, and honestly, I think most people uh, don't look at plants closely enough anymore. So to some people, they may just be going, oh, it's just a plant. But to the animal, it's another object in a enclosed environment that they have the opportunity to interact with, to study, to smell, to tear, to chew on, to see uh, if it does anything, to hide in. So it really expands what is available in their very limited environment. And since we have taken on the duty of being zookeepers and having these guys in our zoo, the least we can do is try to make their stay 
as pleasurable, enjoyable, and educational as possible. So there's those. Oh man, look at the rich greenery! If I had known I would be able to play with so many plants, I would have tried to shoulder these guys in sooner. We're even going to get some nice thick monsoon grass in, into some corners. Again, these are very, very intelligent creatures, so we want to make sure we can give them the absolute best that the world can offer. So there's that. There we go. Oh my gosh, this is looking great. This is looking really good. All right, in turn, I am just going to make sure that I'm going to walk it and make sure that everything is secure, and then we will add in our orangutans. All right, plenty of fruit, lots of delicious looking apples, java ferns looking good. Maybe a little more ground cover could be added in, but at the same time, I think we're good. Look at those cute little things. Yeah, I'm not. I was actually talking about the plants, not the. Uh, not these bugs. Look at these little bugs. Oh my gosh. Gross. But it's very important. Very important for the animals so that they can have something uh, something yummy to eat. Oh, let's see. Little ferns. You don't even know it's about to come out of here, sir. He's, he, he, yeah, he should be very excited. We're about... Oh, I left in some bamboo. I guess it's okay. Yeah, good. We've got that here. We've got the little monkey bars here. Let's see. We've got our little figs and some little fruit spots. Got little floating floating apple things. We'll have to see if they pry those out of the water or not. Got our little berries. All right, we've got this side. Who is that? Oh, it's a kid. He just gave us some donations. That's very kind of him. All right, I think that we're ready. I think we're ready for Jojo and Princess to come out and enjoy their new home. Also, there's what was going on? Oh, we can build some new fossils. All right, let's see how they like it. All right, Princess, out you go. Oh, she's so small. There you go, Jojo. I'm gonna have to get uh, my old panda keeper assigned to you guys to take care of you. Hi, darling. Hello, old man. Yeah, these guys are rescues. So they're from, oh, look at him. Oh, look at him. That's actually pretty darn adorable. <laughs> oh my gosh, he just burped. <laughs> what? Jojo, so rude. What was that about, huh? Well, he seems pretty content. Uh -oh. oh my gosh, Jojo. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, he's happy. He's just going to go tear through all those apples. Meanwhile, Princess, look at her. So these guys came from a rescue facility in their native land that was really uh, running low on funds. They were having to close. Lots of nasty things going on politically in the area too. So they were able to send us these ones. Oh, she got a drink. Good, good, good. Is he getting a drink? What you doing? Oh my goodness! He's climbing the tree! Oh, wow! Does it feel good to be out of a crate and climbing up in a tree? Does that feel good, sir? Whoops. Does that feel good? Oh, That makes me so happy. We'll have to see if we can get any more rescues. Oh, is she going in her little basket? Did I block the little basket? I think I blocked the little basket. Dang it! Why do we keep... Why, 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 why do we keep losing stars? It's such a, such a hard life. We just made an amazing orangutan exhibit. Why lose stars? Though I saw that people were complaining about not having enough desserts. So, to celebrate these guys being added to our zoo, why don't we add a new dessert cart area right... Hmm. Maybe we need to go to the more populated area. Oh, good. I need a few more stars. Right over here. So, let's see. What sounds yummy for being in a nice hot desert? You know what sounds yummy to me? Like a nice, a really yummy, like shaved ice thing, but I don't think we'll have any of those. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. No, not a sushi food stand. We're looking more like for dessert carts, actually. So let me see. Uh, carts. There we go. Alright, what's a nice dessert cart? I mean, we do have the sugarcane stand. It sells fresh sugarcane stocks, but I'm thinking of something a little lighter, a little more refreshing. Ooh, fruit cup. We could have fruit cups here. That sounds pretty good. Let's see, what's the different types of fruit cups we could have? Because a fruit cup, and we can even do it like with a little, little stand. Why don't we add a little fruit cup cart right here? 
There, now maybe people won't fuss so much at us about not having desserts. So we'll have to see how the fruit cup stand works. And if anyone likes it, where is everybody? Got some people- Pet my camel, darn it, you guys. I want people to come pet my camel. So we'll have to work on the camel petting. Looks like we've got some people tra like, trailing over here. Oh, Cheetah 10 is now pregnant. Cheetah 10. Don't tell me. Who's your mate? Isaac. Isaac is technically related to you through Flash. So it looks like we need to emergency uh, separate some of the cheetahs, actually. Whoopsie daisy doodle. Um, let's see. Let's start with Flash. And Flash, we're actually going to... Let's see. Cheetah 11. I'm gonna adopt you out. See, that inbreeding is exactly what we're trying to avoid. So, you know, we are going to build a secondary area. Isaac, dang it. Isaac, I just, ugh, dang it. Okay, we're gonna adopt those guys out. We'll keep Cheetah 10 since she's already pregnant. That was our bad. And what we will do is build a new Cheetah exhibit and a new area where the males can be moved into uh, as needed because that's just, that's just silly bullies. All right, let's dive in here and check on them. There you go. Groom the cheetahs for crying out loud, cheetah keeper. But let's go check on the new stars of our zoo. See how they're doing. Oh, look, look, look. We've got people interested in them. Viewing the animals. Oh, she has no money. Interesting. We might have to, we might have to fix that. Let's see. Listening to the educator. See really far with the binoculars. I wonder how into the zoo they can, like, into this area they can see. Because I want to make sure Jojo and Princess have some retirement time. Okay, good. So Jojo and Princess do have a little bit of privacy back here. Oh, what is she doing? What are you doing, girl? <laughs> He's just eating and burping, eating and burping. You're you're a silly, silly boy. You know that, Jojo. Yep. Look at you. He's such a silly boy. He just really cracks me up. Oh, and there she goes. So she's climbing the trees. So I would say that so far this orangutan exhibit and the fact- Oh, good job, zookeeper! A++. Who are you? That's right. I think- yes, you, can you are now- You are now jungle specialist. And what we're going to start doing in turn is actually expanding. This is an Asian jungle area and this is an Asian grasslands area. So what we are going to start doing is expanding out. We're going to start making, um, what we're going to do is we're going to make this the desert area, like the desert savanna area, at least one, one layer of it. We're going to start making the area out here kind of the Asian area. So we're going to work over here to add a lot of the Asian animals in. This is going to be our little pocket where we have like our dodos and some of the recently extinct and extinct through human means animals right here. And then over here, we're going to break off our little savanna exhibit with another cheetah exhibit and then lead into the forest exhibits. We're going to move our beavers so that they can be in a multi-species exhibit and they can build a big nice beaver den and they can have a nice little beaver lake. So we're going to scoot those guys over here. And then we are going to expand the forest area out this way. And we're also going to be adding quite a few more animals into this little savanna area, expanding it quite a bit. It's going to be nutter butters, but we're going to start tackling quite a few new exhibits as, as time goes on, try to churn them out a little faster so maybe we can get more stars and also get more endangered species in. I'm very excited. I think that a sand cat might be one of our next projects down here, just to kind of round out our desert areas. So we've got cats on one side, cats on the other, and then cats over here too, and we add in our lions. So I'm very excited about that. Lots and lots of new animals coming in turn. Now that our dinosaur breeding program is underway and we're able to sell dinosaur clones for cash, we are able to take care of what should be going on here in our zoo, which includes taking care of our guests. Let's see how our guests are doing. What is their number one complaint? Well, this kidlet wants to go home. I think this kidlet got stuck in the bridge and that's why he had a miserable time. I'm very sorry about that, sir. Please don't complain too much on Twitter. Let's see, some of these people are a little bored. Not too many people hungry. Or um, quite a few people thirsty, so we might focus on uh, getting people some water. 
some places to, they're yeah, not that entertained. So we'll work on entertainment for our guests and more bathrooms and things like that in the future. Ah, oh, but I'm excited. I'm very excited. Let's check on Juju and Princess again. It's going to be very fun. The first step, oh, look at this lush greenery. Oh, I can just burrow inside of these plants. It's so nice, so nice. All right, where'd those guys go? Wow, he really cleared out the little apple pile we made. All right, there's Princess. We might have to see if we can get in another. Oh, she likes the... Jojo is eating the figs now. Jojo, you're so hilarious. He just he just <laughs> clearly cannot stop himself. He wants all of the plants. So Jojo is going to be stuffing himself on all the plants. While Princess is just kind of tidying herself up in the water and exploring around. So, yeah. We'll keep an eye on them. I hope they know where, where they can rest. Oh, princess, you're bipedial! Bi well, bi bipedial, and then I saw that she had to poop and bipedial came out instead. Uh, that was silly. Alright, there you go, princess. Are you gonna use a little bed? <gasps> nope, she snubbed it. <laughs> well, alright, I'm gonna keep an eye on her. And we will... Oh, are you doing okay, girl? Yeah, I think they're doing okay. And we'll see if they have any babies. We'll see if we can add to their group because they do like large social groups. And next up, I think we're going to tackle maybe zebras. There's so many things in our to-do list in turn, so you're just going to have to show up at work here tomorrow and see what we're doing next, huh? You gotta appreciate the variety. So I will see you tomorrow in turn. Bye-bye!